Confusion continues in breast cancer in 2020. Prevention is confused with early detection, and they are not the same. Prevention consists of never forming a tumor and early detection of discovering a tumor when it is still small, but the presence of a tumor indicates an advanced stage of cancer. Cancer begins several years before the tumor appears, hence the importance of genetic markers, known as antigens, for each type of cancer. All cancers begin with mutations in the genetic material at the cellular level. Mutations that can be caused by many reasons, mainly the grown diet, since the vast majority of the population still doesn't know that humans are herbivorous species, we should only be fed by plants and moreover fresh, raw and organic. The human species is the only one on the planet that transformed its natural, biological, herbivorous diet into a cultural diet as a consequence of having discovered agriculture, livestock, but above all for having discovered the use of fire to transform foods that did not correspond to it, such as meat-based foods, which cannot be consumed raw because it doesn't have the tools to do so. We will never see a human opening the belly of a live sheep with human teeth to eat the entrails or any part of the recently dead animal. He only consumes it if it is cooked, as for example in Texcoco barbecue, yes, or in any other stew. The cultural invention of cattle raising has been undergoing several changes, especially with the growth of the population, mainly in the big cities, so food technologists are discovering new hormonal substances with which they can reduce the time to produce meat ready to be distributed in supermarkets or dairy products or eggs. For example, a cow requires five years to grow in the field, but due to the urgency of the slaughterhouses to supply it, several hormones are administered, the best known of which is clenbuterol, all of them prohibited but still used to reduce from five years to one and a half years the time to reach the slaughterhouses. Chickens take 10 to 12 months to grow in the field, but on the farm they reach adult size in only a month and a half, thanks to the use of several hormones, and cow's milk is produced naturally only at a rate of about 15 liters per cow per day, and only if she has had a calf. But on farms they do not have a calf and instead of giving 15 liters, they give 60 liters, sometimes 80 and in exceptional cases, as is the case of some farms in Nuevo León, there are cows that give up to 100 liters of milk in one day, 50 liters in the morning and 50 liters in the afternoon. Of course, based on a large amount of hormones, which add up in 2020 to more than 160 hormonal substances. It has proved impossible to eliminate hormones from the farm in the face of the demographic pressure of more and more humans crowded into the big cities, reaching the extreme of 80% of the population living in the city and only 20% remaining rural. On February 6, 2007, Mexico's National Cancer Institute denounced that the exaggerated use of hormones on farms causes obesity, breast cancer, endometrial cancer and other types of cancer and also denounced the use of nitrites as meat preservatives in the form of sausages, substances that also cause cancer in children, which was confirmed by Harvard University. Ham and sausage cause several types of cancer, including leukemia in children. In order to dispel doubts as to whether the human species can and should consume meat, the World Health Organization, on October 15, 2015, made known in all newspapers on planet Earth, as well as in all radio and television newscasts, that a group of 22 experts from 10 countries reviewed more than 800 scientific investigations carried out in the last 30 years, reaching the following conclusions. Eating meat is a cause of cancer in humans, and more if it is in the form of sausages, mainly bowel cancer. Prevention continues to be confused with early detection, which besides being incredible, it would seem with these campaigns that women should continue to ignore that cancer is a process of several years before the tumor appears 
and when it is detected, it is already an advanced cancer. And in these campaigns, they propose to detect and remove the tumor instead of proposing, from the Ministry of Health, a radical change in eating habits, and to move from the omnivorous model, wrong, towards the herbivorous model as the natural diet of the human species. The radiations used in the new computerized mastography devices are usually more than a thousand times more intense than X-ray plates, radiations that can trigger cancerous processes, as reported by the National Cancer Institute of the United States, which represent a risk of 22% due to the technology, which still doesn't detect tumors smaller than 2 mm. The only way to prevent all types of cancer, including breast cancer, which is commemorated every October 19 of each year, is through a radical change in diet, a raw vegetarian diet based only on fresh, raw and organic plants. In other words, it is increasingly urgent to move from the omnivorous cultural model to the new herbivorous natural model for the human species. We must recognize that the current administration is the only one, in several decades, that is carrying out actions in favor of the health of the Mexican population and that the prohibition of the sale of junk food to minors under 18 years old of age in the states of Oaxaca and Tabasco is a good start. Now, it should be the turn of the radical modifications already proposed by the President of the Republic, his wife and the Undersecretary of Preventive Medicine to update the Uberant Good Eating Plate. The official food standard is Uberant because it promotes the consumption of junk food, refined and canned food. In addition to fatty animal foods that are the main cause of heart attacks, cancer and diabetes. And junk food has our country in the first places in the world in terms of obesity in children and adults.